We'll go Dustin, Jeff, Glutt, and Monty. Go ahead, Dustin. Raise your hand. Get him the mic right there. Dustin Long, Landmark Newspapers. Denny, with this new point system, you've had to work your way up. Based on the results you've had and how you've been able to climb up, have you found it as challenging as it was in the past, any more difficult in gaining ground, getting by people? I mean, what, what have you learned as you've moved up from uh, 20th to 12th the last few weeks on what it's like and what it, how far back can you be at a certain point or, or you're going to be in trouble for other guys? It's so hard to tell because, I mean, usually when you knew you were, you know, once, let's just say 160 back, you know, that's, you need to have three solid weeks over someone who runs 12th to 15th every week. This time, it, it, I'm still a little confused on how much you need to gain each week. But I really try not to look at the points at this, at, at this point because it's just, there's nothing I can do. All I can do is try to get the best finish I can every week. It doesn't matter what the system is. So I still don't have the grips of, you know, how much ground could be gained on, you know, any certain week on, on someone. Um, I, I don't know what a safe spot is in. I don't know what a safe spot is, you know, a dangerous place is out. It's just so hard to figure that out right now um, for us. But, you know, I know where you were – you know, seven, eight weeks ago, we were 120 something, 130 out of out of the lead, maybe somewhere in that range, and we're you know 70 or uh, we're 80 or something like that right now. So we've gained ground on the leader over these last five to six weeks. You know, had we just finished last week, we'd be sitting in the top seven or eight, and we wouldn't even would be wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd be talking about how far we can go, um, but. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just one week, and we'll make up for that here, hopefully this weekend. Raise your hand there, Jeff. Jeff Glux, and then we got Monty, and then the gentleman in the orange shirt. Jeff Gluck from SBNation.com. Um, Denny, when you were coming in here, I kind of had a flashback to last year when you were really outspoken about um, the debris caution issue, and then you were outspoken at Sonoma about it, and then um, there was the, then came the Twitter fines, and then um, in September there was another big thing with RCR, and you were really outspoken about that. This year it just doesn't, I don't know, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like you're outspoken as much about issues. You know, you've been kind of quiet on Twitter. Is that fair to say? I mean, have you have you scaled back um, your public opinions to stay out of the spotlight or, or controversy, or, or is that just, does it just not come up, or what, what's the what's your take on that? Um, no, I, I've more scaled back just because it's, you know, you're, you're more open to criticism. You're more open to... Uh, putting yourself out there to get in something that you don't want to be part of. And, and you know, of course, if you could just say your opinion all the time with no re retribution, then everyone would. But but you have to face that at some point. And obviously last year, um, you know, talking about, you know, certain issues and stuff like that, it just it sidetracks you from on-track stuff. Uh, it really does, and it, and it puts you in a situation you don't want to be in. And so... You know, for me, I've just kind of kept my opinions to myself, and for that reason, because you know, you do, you can face um, retribution from NASCAR, uh, other teams, and things like that. And it's just, it's better if you just, if you have your opinion, to keep it to yourself, because this is, uh, we're in a a big business where any time, anything that you say, it's going to be opened up to a lot of people. And so I've just, it's just not been worth it for me. And so I've just kind of kept to myself. Monty, go ahead. Monty doesn't guess it is it. Uh, yeah, if you just spoke your mind, it'd be kind of like America. But uh, what I want to ask you is, is that you, uh, do you feel right now, you, you're, you've improved a lot in the last month. Do you think week to week you are back to last year that you just haven't won, but you're ready to win, you're in position to or are you just making a little progress and making the best of it can? Are you still – is the performance edge still developing? Is it there yet? No. No, we're not there yet. We're, I feel like uh, I'm making the best of, of what we have right now, and um, hopefully around the line uh, here shortly we're going to have even better stuff. So it's getting better. Uh, I feel like at this point, you know, if you ask me – 12 weeks ago or 10 weeks ago, I'd say 
we got some serious work to do. I feel like at this point we've gained 50 percent on that. We're not we're not definitely not where we were last year um, as far as uh, the the dominance. And I and I don't know whether that was just us being as good as what we were last year, or it's just you know other teams have really stepped up their program this year. Um, uh, you know the, the Roush cars were a non-issue last year. They're right in the mid. You know all the cars were strong this year. Penske, same thing. It's just all the teams really they get better. Anytime any team is behind, they work harder uh, t to get to where you are and exceed that. And I just feel like um, we've just gotten the field caught caught up to us uh, this year and, and, and surpassed us at the beginning of the year. And now we're now we're we were the bottom, working our way back to the top. Claire, raise your hand, Claire. Back in the back, please. We could get her a mic. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Could you talk about your dad here, uh, being is that Sunday is Father's Day? Uh, it, it's awesome for myself. Uh, he don't get to travel to a whole lot of races. He has a old dog that he prefers to stay with on the weekends than uh, fight the hustle and bustle of the, the races. But uh, for him to come out, uh, it, it's very obviously special for, for me. Uh, he made a ton of sacrifices for myself uh, through my career. And... Um, you know, sacrificed a, a lot of vacations and a lot of uh, his savings, you know, to, to get me to this point. So uh, you pretty much owe everything to your parents uh, who helped get you to this point, and, and I'm no different in that sense. Go ahead. Uh, Danny Vito, Pugliese, frontstretch.com. Uh, you were going back to the performance this year and how you've stepped it up the last six weeks or so. Uh, earlier in the season, there was rumors that there was going to be a crew chief change, that something needed to be done. Um, was there ever a sense that anything like that was imminent, and you think that's kind of just knee-jerk overreactionism, and that is this something that you guys needed to work through? Um, yeah, I, I think it's something that has to be worked through, but it, it was never even a, a talk talked about from, from our side. Um, you know, Mike and myself have such a good relationship and he knows how I work and I know how he works. And I think it's the same with Joey and, and, and Greg, you, you, you switch us. We run worse for a long time. And so, um, you know, I, I feel like I, he's got the I he's the guy that can win me a championship and multiple championships in the future. And, uh, I have that team with me right now. So there, there's no way it would even get past me. So it, you know, it, it would never happen. Right there. Go ahead, sir. Then, what, um, as a driver of this team, what steps do you take to ensure that everyone is working towards the same goal and working within the rules? Um, is talking about like from a performance standpoint, like with our within our team. Um, well, you just you have to have open communication. And, and last week, um. The, the 20 and the 18 were struggling really, really bad at Pocono. And so, you know, my priority once we were done is to go help those guys and, and get them running where, um, you know, more competitive. And the same thing works over here. Uh, here at Michigan where Kyle gets his car good, he comes over and he uh, talks about what, what he changed to help uh, make our car good. Ultimately, the better they run, the better it's – it's more it's going to help me. Um because uh, I can use their information more. It's more useful. It's not just a single car effort. So I think all of our guys are, understand that, that it is uh, a team effort. And the more we keep working towards that and the more we work better as teammates, the better we're all going to run. So we, we, have to, um, we have to continue to, to see that in the future. Any additional questions for Denny? Danny, thanks for coming Thank in, you. and uh, a lot of luck to you this weekend, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you.